All right, so y'all have been asking for the best gaming laptops for photo and video editing. And we're gonna talk about what makes a photo and video editing laptop good and how you can choose a gaming laptop that will also coincide with that use case. Let's get into it. Let's get rocking. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. If that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Also, as we're going through this video, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of any of these laptops, you can head down into the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase through that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. What can you expect in this laptop lineup? Well, first and foremost, you're gonna see the laptops in ascending order according to price. And then we're also gonna see timestamps for each category. And do note that I personally have tested 80% of these laptops. So you're gonna see Geekbench 5 and Cinebench R20 scores. You're gonna see Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve. Um, and you're also gonna see thermal temps and component usage. Recommended use cases for each category. And then of course, like I said, there's affiliate links in the description below. And also hang on to the end of this video because you're gonna see my top picks, the ones that I personally would be completely psyched to make a purchase. And so that'll be at the end of the video. My question to you is what laptop are you considering? So if you're considering a certain laptop, comment below, ask for some feedback. We'll get you some feedback on that laptop and see if that's a good one for you. And if it's a good one for gaming and photo video editing. But let's jump into it. What makes a good photo video editing laptop but also a great gaming laptop. So first and foremost, gaming laptops for photo and video editing are color accurate, they're powerful, and they're portable. And so this is one of the biggest struggles when it comes to a gaming laptop, is a lot of gaming laptops don't prioritize color accuracy. So when we jump into this, we're gonna start at a category that would be good for gaming and would be good for photo editing and video editing as far as performance is concerned, but to get those actual like vibrant colors and, well not vibrant colors, but accurate colors, and maybe some vibrant colors, but accurate colors. And so really the reason this matters most is if you're somebody who's working for clients or you have a very uh, detail-oriented personality and you want like exact colors, you wanna make sure the greens are green and the reds are red and they fit the Adobe color gamut range perfectly. That's where you're gonna want a very color accurate screen. Now, if you don't care about that and you only need the performance for photo and video editing, then these laptops would be a good fit. But if you're somebody who wants that full gamut of performance and quality, you're going to want a color accurate monitor. Without further ado, let's get into some of the recommendations. First and foremost, these are the entry level laptops. So these are going to be great for Photoshop, 1080p video editing, and After Effects. But I definitely recommend you upgrade these laptops for 16 gigs of RAM because you'll see that most of these laptops come with eight. I would not recommend eight gigs of RAM for After Effects. That's why I rec recommend a required 16 gigs of RAM upgrade for these laptops. Now these are gonna have power, portability, but have low color accuracy. First one is gonna be the Acer Nitro 5. The Acer Nitro 5 comes with the Ryzen 5 4600H, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, and eight gigs of RAM. Like I said, I definitely recommend an upgrade of this laptop to 16 gigs if you're gonna be using After Effects, and even if you're gonna be using video editing, it's definitely helpful to have a little bit more RAM in your laptop. But as I said, this laptop is plagued with 65% sRGB and 49% Adobe RGB, which is not a good color quality, color gamut range if you're somebody who cares a lot about having accurate color during your video and photo editing processes. Next up is the HP Pavilion Gaming Ryzen 5 4600H. This is a great laptop um, for the price point. It has the GTX 1650, 8 gigs of RAM, and 512 gig SSD. Again, it is plagued with a 66% sRGB and a 45% Adobe RGB. Next up is the Asus Tough A15 with the Ryzen 7 4800H. This would be a great laptop for After Effects, for 4K video editing, and it comes with the AMD Ryzen 7 4800H, this GTX 1660 Ti, and 16 gigs of RAM. Again, this laptop has a lower color gamut range, so if you're somebody who's looking for good color accuracy, this is not the pick, but it is great performance-wise. Next up is the Dell G5 SE with the Ryzen 5 4600H. This laptop comes with better color accuracy depending on the screen variant you choose. If you choose the 144 hertz variant, you're gonna get 72% sRGB and 45% Adobe RGB. But I was looking online and I've seen this laptop with a better color gamut range, but do your due diligence, do your research, there's multiple variants available. This comes with 16 gigs of RAM and the GTX 1650 GPU. 
All right, moving on to the mid-level laptops. These are laptops that will be capable of Photoshop, 1080p, and some 4K video editing, depending on the model. After Effects and 16 gigs is required still for those After Effects laptops. Some of these will still have 8 gigs, and I recommend upgrading them if you want to be an After Effects wizard. Now, power, portability, and color accuracy is what we're going to find in these laptops. Now, it's not going to be amazing color accuracy. Some of them still have you know, lower Adobe accurate, color accurate scores. If you're thinking about, you know, considering uh, sRGB versus Adobe RGB, sRGB covers a smaller color gamut range. So let's say this is sRGB. Well, then Adobe RGB colors a larger, covers a larger color gamut range. So something you have to keep in mind. Yes, sRGB is color accurate, but not as color accurate as Adobe RGB. It reaches more color gamuts on the chart. Looking into the laptops here, starting things off with the MSI GF75. Now we have the i5-10300H with four cores and eight threads, the GeForce GTX 1650. This laptop because does come with eight gigs of RAM. I recommend 16. You're going to have 512 gig SSD, and this is a 17.3 inch full HD display with a color gamut range of 89% sRGB and 58% Adobe RGB. Like I said, not the best color gamut range, but we're getting better as we move through these laptops. Next up is the Lenovo Legion 5. This is the Ryzen 7 4800H, and it has the GTX 1660 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM, and 512 gig SSD. Now, you can get this laptop in multiple screen variants. As I've been discussing, really, really driving that point home that you need to be careful when selecting your laptop because vendors do this. They put out a lot of different laptops at a lot of different price points, I don't think it's purposely to confuse us, but it does cause a lot of confusion. So either comment below this video asking some questions about the model you're looking at, or go to Google and type in the exact model SKU and say, you know, Lenovo Legion 5 with 240 hertz color gamut range, and then, or sorry, 144 hertz color gamut range. And then you'll be able to see people that have reviewed it, what the color gamut range is. Now, I've actually personally reviewed this laptop, and so I know that the 120 hertz screen can only reach 62% sRGB and 46% Adobe RGB versus the 144 hertz screen variant, which can reach 99% sRGB and 80% Adobe RGB. So keep that in mind for this one. If you want color accuracy, go for the 144 hertz screen. Check before you buy is my recommendation. All right, the next up is the Asus Zephyrus G14. This laptop comes with the AMD Ryzen 7 4800HS. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, 12 gigs of RAM, and a color gamut range of 91% sRGB and 60% Adobe RGB. Great laptop for 1080p and 4K video editing. Color accuracy is pretty solid, but not amazing. Next up is the Asus Rogue Zephyrus G15. It's another laptop with the Ryzen 7 4800HS, the GTX 1660 Ti Max Q, 16 gigs of RAM. This would make a great laptop for either video editing in 4K or After Effects. Um, and then you also have a color gamut range of 65 sRGB, 45 Adobe on the 140Hz screen. And then on the 240Hz screen, you have 100% sRGB and 73% Adobe RGB. So like I said, the screen variants can get you. Make sure you know what you're buying. Next up is the HP Omen 15. This is one of my favorite laptops that I've reviewed recently that would be great for gaming and photo and video editing. This laptop comes with the Ryzen 7 4800H, the GTX 1660 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gig SSD. Color gamut range is 97% sRGB and 71% Adobe RGB for the 144 hertz screen variant. From here, we're gonna be moving into the upper level laptops. These are gonna be laptops that'll be great for Photoshop, 4K video editing and After Effects. Power, portability and color accuracy are the benefits of these laptops. First up is the Asus Zephyrus G14. This one comes with the AMD Ryzen 9 4900HS, the RTX 2060 Max-Q, 32 gigs of RAM and 512 gig SSD. Color gamut range is still around 91% with uh, an Adobe RGB of 60%. Um, so kind of on the lower end of the color gamut range as we're moving into these more upper end laptops, but this one really kills it as far as performance is concerned. Next up is the MSI Creator 15M. This is one of my favorite price to performance laptops. Comes with the i7 10750H, G, the GeForce RTX 2060, 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of SSD with 100% sRGB and 71% Adobe RGB. Price to performance comparison, really like this laptop. It's a great choice along with another laptop here in the lineup, which is the Gigabyte Aero 15. This laptop is one of my favorite gaming laptops that are great for video editors and photo editors. The reason being is it has 100% sRGB and 100% Adobe RGB, all Pantone validated from the factory. 
It's also around $1,700. I've actually seen it for less recently. I'm not going to tell you how much because I don't know the live price, but I've seen it um, in the past as low as around $1,300 for this laptop. So if that's still the case, click the link below, find out. Maybe you can score a sweet deal even coming around the Black Friday holiday season. This comes with the i7-10750H with six cores and 12 threads, the GeForce RTX 2060, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD, and a full HD display. If I had money, if I had money, if I, well, if I had the money, it, what am I trying to say? If I had to purchase a laptop, this is where I'd put my money. That's what I'm trying to say. So if I had the, the, the idea that I needed to purchase a laptop today, this is the one I would grab. It's color accurate. It's got performance. It's got great build quality. You really can't go wrong with this laptop. Moving forward, the Acer Predator Helios 300. This is the best-selling laptop that I've seen on my channel. It's a very popular laptop um, over the past couple years. It's um, If I was going to choose between this laptop and this laptop, I would go with the Gigabyte Aero 15, but I know this Acer Predator Helios has a lot of popularity. It's got an all-aluminum chassis. Um, it's got great performance. It's got the i7-10750H. It has the RTX 2060. It has 32 gigs of RAM, and it has solid color accuracy at 97% sRGB and 77% Adobe RGB. Great price to performance comparison. You really can't go wrong with it. It's, it's just a solid laptop, and it's got a lot of testimonials behind its great performance. Next up is the best 17 inch price to performance laptop, the Asus ROG Strix G17. The estimated price is around $1,900. You get the i7-10750H, the RTX 2070, 8 gig G DDR6 VRAM. This is a beast of a gaming laptop and a video and photo editing laptop. You got 32 gigs of uh, DDR4 memory. You can upgrade it to 64. That's the model I reviewed. You got two terabytes of SSD, 17.3 inch full HD screen, and a color gamut range of 98% sRGB and 75% Adobe RGB. Next up is the MSI GE75 Raider. Around a $3,000 laptop, but the reason is, is it has a beast i9-10980HK processor, the RTX 2080 Super Max Q, 64 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of SSD, 100% sRGB, and 72% Adobe RGB. Definitely a little pricier, but it is stacked with performance. Next up is the Razer Blade 15 Advanced Model. This one comes with the i7-10875H, RTX 2080 Super Max Q, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of SSD, and 100% sRGB and 72% Adobe RGB. This is an aluminum chassis. It's got uh, quad speakers, two on each side, great audio. I tested this out at CES 2020, really great laptop. Um, it's kind of the doppelganger of the uh, MacBook Pro. Looking at the Puget Photoshop gaming laptop scores, here we go. What do we got? We got the MacBook Pro 16 sitting up at the top end of the charts, but unfortunately, that's really not quite a gaming laptop. I mean, more and more lately, they've been talking about, hey, you can game on this laptop. Um, so if you can game on a MacBook Pro, it's going to be the best laptop for Photoshop. Following up shortly there, uh, slightly thereafter, is the Gigabyte Aero 17 HDR. That's the 17-inch version of my favorite laptop, the Gigabyte Aero 15. So it's a 17-inch model. It sits at the top of the charts. I recently reviewed that laptop. Um, and then following down from there, you have the Razer Blade 15, the Dell XPS 15, which isn't really a gaming laptop either. I, it's for the price um, to gaming performance. I just don't think it's worth it. I think it's a laptop you can game on, but the reason I didn't include it is because it doesn't have great gaming and video editing performance as in together for the price. It just didn't make sense. It, it was, it's more the performance of say a, the Nitro 5, but it has the price of the Gigabyte Aero and above. Um, so just trying to get you some perspective there. Um, and then as we move down the list, I'll let you continue to review the benchmark scores and make your decision. Next up, we have the After Effects benchmark score. Uh, I won't talk through this too much, but as you can see, the Asus Tough A15 sitting near the top, followed by the Gigabyte Aero 17 HDR, the Asus Rogue Strix G17, and then they teeter down from there. And the After Effects Render Benchmark Score. You got the Gigabyte Aero 17 sitting up near the top with the Asus Tough A15. But then that 8 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM um, in the Asus Rogue Strix G17 is really showing off, getting the highest score here on the lineup. For the thermal performance, now this is something that I know a lot of people care about, and that's why I've included this chart here. I care about it. I want a laptop that runs cool. I hate when my laptop gets super hot, personally. Um, so if you want to avoid a hot laptop, avoid the Asus Zephyrus G14. 
If you're wanting a really, really great, cool laptop, the Gigabyte Aero 17 HDR or the Acer Nitro 5 are going to be your top picks. Like I said, this is going to be more high to mid-range budget. This is going to be more low-end uh, budget. And then you're going to have more like the middle-of-the-road budget around these laptops here. All right, these Cinebench R20 multi-core scores, of course, we see those Ryzen processors sitting up near the top of Cinebench, followed closely behind um, by the Asus Rogue Strix G17 with the i7-10750, the Lenovo Legion 5i, and then the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo i9-9980HK. I don't think that's a great gaming laptop, but it is a great photo and video editing laptop, this guy here, um, right there. Geekbench single core performance. Um, we have the Gigabyte Aero 17 HDR sitting up at the top, followed closely behind the other um, Intel processors. And then as you see, Ryzen usually falls around the middle of the charts for single core performance. But then you get into multi-core performance and it really takes off. They are known for multi-core right now, multi versus single core. Um, you're gonna see Geekbench um, really showing off those Ryzen processors over the Intel processors. More cores and more threads, obviously that's why. All right, now here are my top picks. If I, you know, like I said, if I was gonna put money down right now, here's the top picks that I would go for. In the budget category, I like this 17 inch GF75 um, because it has great performance, good color accuracy, and it has a great price point. For the mid range category, I like the HP Omen 15. It has solid color accuracy. It has great performance, and it sits at basically the middle of the charts on every benchmark score. So it's a great gaming laptop. It's also a great video and photo editing laptop. For the um, thin and light magnesium frame, I like the Asus Zephyrus G14. It's hotter than I would prefer. The laptop gets pretty stinking warm comparatively to some of the other laptops, but it's a thin and light laptop, great for gaming, great price to performance comparison. Can't go wrong with the G14. For the best color accurate price point um, performance, the Gigabyte Aero shines through for me. Um, I've been a big fan of this laptop ever since seeing it at CES and then reviewing the 15 inch and the 17 inch version. Um, I just really think it's a solid build and uh, great performance. And for the best price to performance, the 17 inch would be the Asus Rogue Strix G. It's got eight gigs of VRAM in that GPU. It's got a solid uh, uh, CPU. It's got great color accuracy and it's for around a very reasonable price point. If you're curious about the exact pricing or availability of any of these laptops that you've seen, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase of that link, we'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And as always, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. If you're interested in more relevant content, you can click or tap the screen over here. Otherwise, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next episode.